After nearly two years of waiting, America is getting some Trump-Russia answers straight from Robert Mueller. Attorney General William Barr said the bottom line, there was no collusion between the Trump campaign and Russian government hackers. Special counsel Robert Mueller says President Trump's efforts to influence the Russia investigation were, quote, mostly unsuccessful, but that was because the people surrounding the president declined to carry out orders to accede to his requests. Joining me now to talk more about this is Ken Delanen with NBC News. And Ken, I imagine that the Republicans are saying they're doubling down on this, saying there's nothing to see here, move along. Democrats are digging in, saying there's more to look at. Is there a little something for both sides. Oh, 100%, Charles, because the Attorney General has given the Republicans the ideal talking point. Attorney General William Barr, before the report was even released, stepped to the podium at the Justice Department to pronounce that there was, that Mueller found no collusion and that he himself, Barr, found no obstruction case. But then we got the report, and perhaps the biggest story of the day was the daylight between the Mueller report and what Barr was telling us, because the report clearly finds many instances of what the Mueller team viewed as obstructive conduct, potential obstruction of justice. Um, now, the Mueller team did not recommend a charge, and one of the reasons they didn't, they say in their report, is that there's Justice Department rules that say a sitting president can't be indicted. And it seems pretty clear from the language that they use that they meant to throw this issue to Congress and to a potential impeachment inquiry. They said there was lots of evidence of obstruction, but the evidence of President Trump's corrupt intent was unclear. As you said, in many instances, he gave orders that weren't followed by his staff. Let me ask you about that, because I want to talk to you about that particular part, because Reince Priebus, who has strong Wisconsin ties, was the chief of staff for the first six months for President Trump. Uh, we look through the report. He's mentioned at least 200 times. What is your take on his role? And is there some truth here about what the staff was trying to do to keep him out of trouble? Well, 100 percent. And what White House reporters say is that's every day of the Trump presidency, where Trump is giving orders that the staff thinks are crazy and they don't want to carry them out. Um, and in this case, Mueller details specific instances uh, by Priebus and others, and particularly Trump ordering um, that Jeff Sessions, the attorney general who had recused from the investigation, he wanted Sessions to unrecuse himself, something Sessions was never going to do. At one point, Trump wanted to fire Robert Mueller. Now, these are cases where the staff resisted and it didn't happen. And, and I guess the country's better for it. And, and Donald Trump is lucky because, you know, had he had those orders been carried out and the investigation been squashed, that could have been a more clear case of obstruction of justice. Ken Delane from NBC News. Thank you, Ken.